What's good, y'all? Welcome back to She Gets a Podcast. My name is Shan, uh-huh, aka Mommy Rocky. All right, so this is one of my shows. All right, I'm here to talk to you about holding back the pubes. Okay, this is season 11, episode 16. We're almost done with this season. Hey! <laughs> you know me, I be whipping it, whipping it, whipping it, whipping it, whipping it up. All right, so. Yes, this episode I'm talking about holding back the pubes. Hold back the pubes, please. Thank you, ma'am. All right. Hair, I get it, is a sign of life. Some hair is curly, straight, wavy, kinky. It's all hair, okay? I accept it. Hair on your privates is different. It's a different beast, okay? It's thicker. It's from the motherland. Um, it's dark, it's shiny, <laughs> it's, it's healthy because it just keeps on growing back after you cut the hoe, okay? It's fuller and it's in all of our creases, okay? Let's accept this. Some people go to get um, waxed. Some people go to get like sugar waxed. Um, some people use nair. Some people shave. Um, some people get a bikini wax. I've never gotten one. I'm not looking forward to it. Um, My hair on my body is very thick and strong. Not strong, strong. And um, no, I will punch somebody in the face if they pull a hair off of me and it hurts, okay? The closer I get to you, the more it's in my face. That's what I'm talking about. Like, men, if you would like for me to handle you in the right way and give you what you need, all right? I'm talking about that slurp, slurp, gurp, okay? That jizzle, gizzle, <laughs> okay? If you would like that, I'm gonna need you to trim that shit the fuck back. All right, so hold back the pubes. And women, I'm talking about y'all too because y'all be really out here with this whole femininity and I, you know, want to embrace my hair and all of that. Cool. But don't be surprised if the men you choosing ain't choosing that. Okay? That's a lot. It's a lot. Okay. But that's why I'm getting into this episode. So if you're at work, putting them headphones, honey, because you could be an HR issue. Um, if you're in the car with your kids, um, might want to skip this and play something else. Uh, if you are in a store, this is not the one you want on speaker because you will be looked at. Okay, let's get into the show. Hello. Hello. Your girl got merch. You already know where it's at. It's at www. That's three W's. <laughs> Who is Shan.com. Okay. I got uh, my books are on that website. That is my personal website. You got the feed for the show for So What Page We On Bid. She gets a podcast and Cozy One Podcast. And if you go on the shots page, you will see all the shops. You will see Loudmouth Shop. Okay, you will see Cozy Womb Shop. You will see Who Is She In Shop. You will see um, She Gets It Shop. And you will see Mama's Cozy Closet Shop. All right. So get some merch. All right. Because if it don't move, I move it. Because I like to move it, move it. Okay. I'm not going to have no merch to sit. If it ain't moving, it's telling me that y'all don't want it. And I want to continually create something that y'all want. So back to the show, but don't say I never told you so. Peace. Okay, first of all, first of all, first of all, first of all, if you want your balls in our mouths, trim that hair the fuck back. There's a lot of men out here with that jungle dick. That jungle dick is like in the forest of all your pube hair. Trim that shit the fuck back if you want them's in the mouths okay you want to be eaten better like sunday's best okay you want <laughs> to skin the head on that monkey okay women S- shave that shit 
if you don't bikini wax it, you don't wax it, you don't trim it down, shave that shit the fuck off. It'll grow back, okay? Skin the head of that monkey, all right? Um, If you smell yourself and you're funky, don't put y'all dicks in our faces, Okay, go wash your ass. Go wash yourself. I shouldn't be smelling your dick. I shouldn't be smelling that you play basketball today. I shouldn't be smelling that you worked. Wash your ass, all right? Wash your balls if you want it to be in the mouths. Wash that shit. If your pH balance is off, ladies, turn off your sexual feelings. Not today, bitch. Not today. Stop putting stink pussies in men's faces because you know they just thirsty and they want pussy. All pussy is not good pussy. I'm sorry to tell you that is not true. I don't give a fuck about what your OBGYN said. All pussy is not good pussy. Some women out here are being disrespectful to themselves and they're not washing themselves right. They're not maintaining um, good water habits. They're not eating their fruit. They're not cleaning themselves. They're not going to their um, appointments that they're supposed to go to um, throughout the year. They're just not handling that pussy right. And they're having that pussy all out though, just flapping in the wind, stinking up everything. Okay. The bathroom stalls smell like um, fish markets. It's nasty. It's nasty. All right. Men don't want that shit in their face. Men don't want that shit um, on their couches. Men don't want that shit in their bathrooms. Men don't want that shit um, at parties when you're dancing up all them. Like, keep that stink pussy to yourself, okay? Um, next, women drink more water. Men drink no more water. Water is not gonna hurt you, okay? Share your pussy with less people, ladies. Okay, that is going to help men get the best standard of pussy that you're serving if you share it with less people. Get some nair if you need some nair for your legs. There's also hella hair in that ass crack that you got. There's a lot of hair between that punani and that ass crack. Get all of that shit, okay? You know how men be peeling <laughs> them cheeks back? Sometimes you're going to have to peel them cheeks back and get in there and get it, okay? It just makes everything better. If you want to be treated like soup, I'm going to need you to clean it up. Clean it up, okay? Like I said earlier, you can sugar wax. You can shave with creamy peanut butter. Don't put it on your privates, bitch. <laughs> But I've seen people shave their legs with peanut butter because it's smooth and um, it gives you a smoother cut, okay? You can use men's shaving cream. I love using men's shaving cream because it just seems like I just get a better shave with that shit. The women's shaving cream, it just smells like, you know, flowers and shit, but it really doesn't get the cut like I get the cut, okay? And I also like to use men's razors. One thing for sure that women really get away with is we don't pay $50 for blades for razors like men do. Men be really paying hella money for their razors that they shave with. Maybe that's why they don't like shaving, but I like shaving um, my body with men's razors and men's shaving cream, okay? That's what I like to use. Ladies, if you like that low Caesar, keep that shit low and not spiky because when your Caesar is growing back, it gets really spiky and um, it's not comfortable on a man. Like I've been told that a few times when I didn't really care, but you ain't let me know you was coming here to get this um, <laughs> dug out. You know what I'm saying? So I didn't prepare the cooch. Okay. But uh, yeah, that spiky shit, cut that shit down. Cut that shit down, all right? He wants to have a good time and you want to have a good time too. Cut that shit down. Um, If you like your landing strip on that punani, cool. Make one, let him know that that's what you like and that's what he's getting. If that's not what he wants, then, sir, <laughs> tonight is not your night, right? Do that, but make it neat, make it presentable, 
okay? Cut that shit low. Um, if you want her to eat that dick and make it disappear like David Copperfield, tame your hair around your man meat. If you want her to eat that dick like she's David Copperfield and make that shit disappear, tame that hair around your man meat. Okay? (sighs) Point blank period, what I'm getting at is hair in the mouth stops the whole show for me. So I know there's men out there that hate when pubic hairs get in their mouth and they're trying to, you know, keep up or they're trying to make sure that they're giving you everything they came to give. So if you want to avoid all the stops at the wrong times, ladies, because that shit is annoying when men stop, when you don't want them to stop, and then when they try to get back, it's over. It's a wrap. The feeling's gone. The thrill is gone. You could wrap it up, pack it up, beat it. <laughs> but sometimes it'd be like that. So if you don't want any um, not needed stops or pauses during your sessions, just trim the pews back, okay? If you need that deep throat from the goat, shave that hair back, okay? So it says, okay, keep that hair out the throat. If you want that throat goat, keep that hair out the throat. If you want that throat goat. <laughs> if you want that deep throat from the goat, Shave that hair the fuck back, okay? Keep your hairs, your pubes out the throat, okay? Um, That's it. That's all I got. Hold back the pubes, please. Gladly, um, we'll do whatever I need to get done. If you do that, I might appreciate that. Um, men are very hairy. So just saying, and I'm not talking about one ethnicity over the other. I'm just saying y'all are very hairy and women will also appreciate y'all to tame that jungle down there. Okay. Women, if you are also very hairy, you know what you need to do. Tame it. Prepare for your diggings and tame that shit. Share your pussy with less people. Men, share your dicks with less people. Stop going raw in women who are questionable because you just spreading shit, okay? I'm just looking out for y'all because I know other people be annoyed just like me. So hold the pubes the fuck back. My name is Shan. I tell you no lies. I have no reason to lie. Lies don't pay my bills. Lies don't get me ahead in life. So I tell the truth. So if you want to hit me up, hit me up at at she gets a pod on Twitter and IG. Or you can email me at shegetsitpod at gmail.com. And you can find merch for me and books from me at www.whoishan.com. I'm out of here. I gave y'all what I came to give. And I held my pubes the fuck back. Peace.